Welcome to Romantic Tarot. This is our weekend check-in for each zodiac sign and I, you'll see me writing down the timestamps so that I can upload the timestamps as soon as I upload the videos. For each of the zodiac signs, I'll break down what your specifically love, romance, sensuality predictions are for the week ahead. From whenever you're going to see this, no more dates on my videos because because it doesn't seem to matter for people anyway. So, you know, let's not do it, that's okay. Um, I'm gonna start with Scorpio and move through the Zodiac. Uh, you guys know how this works. Um, there is also an extended video that extends the messages of these videos. The cars have already been meditated on, they're already waiting to tell you the tale. If you're curious about that tale, um, the extended uh, focuses on who is coming towards you, what they're thinking, what they're feeling, what they're going through. All of those kinds of things come up in the extended. And that link is below. I hope you join me over there. So let's get right into this. Yes, taken down this time. Scorpio. Love, romance, and sensuality messages for you. You are good enough. You, I feel like you got this card last week too. What is it that you don't feel good enough for? Do you not feel good enough to leave them? Do you not feel good enough to say that I deserve better? There's, there's some issue here of not believing or understanding your complete value. Even if it's in a long-term relationship, not saying what you need to say or sticking up for yourself or, or like even considering leaving somebody if they have not been treating you well. This idea of you needing them more than they need you is blocking your abundance and blocking your happiness in love, blocking your connection. You are good enough. This is also a statement that if you like somebody, if you have a crush on somebody, if you're thinking about somebody else, if you're thinking about leaving a situation that you're in right now, yes, you're good enough to do it. You can have better. You can have more. There's more for you than something that isn't working for you, than something that isn't making you happy. And what I learned, Scorpios, is that you can have an amazing, you can have an amazing person in your life. They're a really good person and there's nothing wrong with them. It's just that the two of you aren't right together. And essentially, this is what you have to ask yourself. Does this connection make me happy? No, it doesn't have to be perfect or easy, but does it ultimately, is it what I want? Does it make me happy? Or am I getting this feeling that there is something else? And, you know, sometimes, listen, have a straightforward conversation with yourself because sometimes it's that sense of, uh, maybe I don't know what's best for me and that, that I'm getting these messages of I don't feel comfortable here because I only feel comfortable in situations that hurt me. And in that case, you are good enough. You deserve something better than that. That even though that may have been your norm and what you might be used to and what might feel familiar to you, there's more to life than that. There's more to love than constantly being hurt and constantly being scared or constantly being worried. There's, that's not love. That's craziness. That's, um, that's abuse. That's trauma coming up and continuing to haunt you. So this is about healing. And this is about this Virgo full moon that just passed, really bringing up from the depths um, those truths that are hard to face, those those realities that we, we might want to put away. But seeing them in plain sight will help us sift through and see, hey, I really need to address this. I really need to take care of this. It's a sense of how do you how you feel about yourself and how how you feel about yourself is affecting how you fall in love and who you fall in love with or if you'll even take a chance on love because this is a message scorpio of yes you are good enough you deserve love you deserve you deserve that person maybe some of you are thinking i'm not even going to talk to this person i'm not even going to take a chance on this person there's no way that they would be interested in me yes they would you deserve to be happy and you deserve to be healthy and health and happiness go hand in hand remember that Let's see what other card we have for you. Simple acts of kindness. Um, kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. This is both Virgo energy. And it could very well be a Virgo is coming towards you or is in your life right now. But simultaneously, we'll get into who is coming towards you. That's in the extended below. I do hope you join me. 
but this is definitely caring, tender. And that's what I want you to ask yourself. Is the relationship that I'm in, is it somebody who cares for me? Is it somebody who has my back? Is it somebody who's tender or gentle? Why am I in this relationship? Is, am I bored because they're too tender and they're too gentle? Um, am I not interested in people who would take care of me, instead more interested in people who would exploit me? All of these questions have come up to ask you and make you, and they're not here to torment you or torture you, Scorpio. They're here to make you ask yourself these pertinent questions because love is out there and wanting to come into your life, like real love and real connection. And what you have right now may be blocking it, or you may be blocked from what you have right now um, being its full potential because of some sort of blockage in your self-worth that's making you not ask for help when you need it, not, not want help, or feeling like goodness or tenderness and kindness is something that is boring as opposed to be treasured. This is a sense of being really loved, finding somebody that unconditionally cares for you and about you. Um, ultimately, it's your choice how you decide to allow yourself to be loved. Now, I know that darker things appeal to you or could. I don't want to stereotype all Scorpios because you might have moon placements and rising signs and Venus signs that do affect you in ways that do not make that real. But what is true is a sense of caring and make sure that in on the forefront of your mind is, does this person really care about me? Am I really being taken care of? Do they understand me? Do they take the time to understand me? Is this connection that we have something that is familiar or is it something that is fantastic? Ask yourself that question because it's definitely a review of what you give each other. And maybe you've been having doubts of this person and what they're giving you being what you want. Um, it could also be a call to be more open, be more giving yourself. Sometimes it's hard for you to take that chance and, and, and you, you feel like it's exposing yourself and you feel vulnerable when you just simply allow people to see that you appreciate them. These two cards are saying, allow them to see it, you appreciate them. It's going to exponentially help your romantic life this week. I'll see you over in the extended. All right, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, let's see what's coming toward you. Nothing will come of this situation, void of course. So um, what has been going on between you and a loved one? This is a stop, this is a done, this is an over, this is a finished. Um, this is a, a tension or thinking of walking away or breaking up or nothing will come from trying to fight this fight or nothing will come from trying to continue to argue. This is an end to something that's been causing a lot of dissonance in your love life. So what is that? Could it be you're with the wrong person? Yes, it could be. This could be, let's consider this is done. The relationship's over. We can't keep going on. But it also could be, what kind of mindset have you had? Or um, maybe you've been single, right? And if you've been single, that's about to end. Why? Because the right person is coming into your life, even if you haven't asked for it or expected it. Whatever situation you're in right now is going to be coming to a hard halt. And that includes, like I said, conflict between the two of you. If you have someone in your life, a sense of what have you been arguing about? What have you been concerned about? Um, there is an ending here. Now that ending, like I said, it could be a good ending, uh, but void of course is usually something was off, something got cold, something ran out. And so what is it in your love life that's getting cold and running out? Or do you feel like it's been coming to a cold conclusion or not really something hasn't been happening or those things in your life, you, this could be it too. Um, those the, all the chances or options that you have while they're exciting up front and while you may have a plethora of them, none of them seem to go anywhere. All of them seem to like stall and stop. Like they don't, there doesn't seem to, there doesn't seem to be much coming out of any circumstance or situation in love and romance for you right now. Even if you're getting married to somebody, 
this could be um nothing seems to be working out in in what you're planning in the in the wedding that you're planning this is a particularly frustrating time for you where it seems like everything has come to a hard stop and things are being held back and conclusions are are, are you know what all I can say is Sagittarius, don't take this personally. I think this is more timing than anything. Um, this is a sense of the next week, week and a half. You just have to get through it. And it is going to frustrate you. But at the same time, think of it as a curveball. And curveballs can be especially fun for you guys if you think of them as the unexpected and the spontaneous and the chaotic. So this void, of course, could be just a little bit more chaos in your life in terms of things not going anywhere. And why aren't things going anywhere? Or, well, then when's things, something going to work out for me? This could be something that you've been very frustrated with. Um, now, it doesn't necessarily directly have to do with your partner, but it could be be with something you and your partner are developing or working on or ha something that's been important to you guys um something that things that just don't seem to be coming through or maybe you're applying for mortgages right and everything keeps coming back as a no let's see what the other card has to say turn on your heart light reflect on a time when you experienced love this is uh the energy of 36 so three plus uh six is nine that is essentially something coming to a head something so in other words your heart being finally held on your sleeve so that you can you can draw a conclusion to something uh, offering up what you really feel towards somebody sharing your true opinion finally letting it come out or real feelings finally being exposed that will basically bring an ending maybe to the relationship or maybe to the conflict that's been going on between the two of you there is an energy of some of, of real feelings. When real feelings come out and real feelings are shown, this could be the end of a complicated situation. Um, just an FYI. If you're curious about who is coming towards you, Sagittarius, that link is in the description box below. Um, also, what they may be feeling and what they may be thinking, which could be really quite pertinent to what you guys are going through right now. That's information. That's information for the extended as well. I hope to see you over there. All right, Capricorn. Capricorn. Let's see what messages are coming through for you. Have faith in your dreams. So something that seems to be kind of impossible, and this is also springtime energy. So wait for the next couple of weeks because spring um, starts on the 21st of this month. Um, this is about the same time. No. Hmm. I think maybe spring starts on the 19th. It's about the same time. It's in a couple of days of um, Saturn moving into Aquarius. So in other words, there's a broadening and expanding of people's minds and they're starting to become a little bit more altruistic and think of outside of themselves, think what's, think, think what's best for others. So understand that that could make a major shift starting to happen, Capricorn, for you guys, especially because you are ruled by um, by Saturn. So sometime around the springtime, there will be major shifts. And I feel like you've been feeling this momentum right now. There is a sense of something that you thought would be impossible. Maybe you thought you'd never find anybody. Maybe you thought this th th you'd never hear from somebody again. Maybe you thought... Um, you know, you, all this, the struggles that you've been having between the two of you, maybe you thought it would never, it would, it would never die down. This is a lulling, a calming, an opening, a happiness that's returning into your life. So um, look toward the springtime for a breath of fresh air, Capricorn. This is maybe meeting somebody who brings springtime into your life. I just love this card and I think of springtime all the time. So, um, have faith in your dreams. You know, it, it almost implies that you know something is happening, that something has been coming and you feel it, but you don't want it to excite you too much because you don't want to, you don't want to get your hopes disappointed. You don't want to be disappointed. So ask yourself, Capricorn, really? Um, oh, no. Believe in yourself. Believe in your instincts because it's true. It's real. 
Um, and you're right. Don't rush in or rush too fast. That's usually not a problem for you guys anyway. It's okay to take the slow. I want to say that it's really okay for you to be as slow and like um, cautious about this, this new event um, as you need to be to feel comfortable with it. Take your time because this is about your pace and your pace doesn't tend to be just rush in. Excuse me, you do want to know all of the facts and that's okay. That's that's definitely something that is actually good and you should you should stay on that. Um, but that's this isn't a caution. This isn't a warning for you. Capricorn, this is simply saying that whatever is coming into you, it's it's so new and so fresh and so right that it's going to be happen at the pace that you need it to happen. And yes, you can tell it what pace you need it to happen at. You don't, this isn't something that you have to like um, conform or, or you'll lose the opportunity. I, I don't know. No, this is nice. This is you being able to set a pace and, and keep a pace that you really like and feel comfortable with. Um, you're gonna love this. Two plus six. Eight. This is destiny. This is timing. New love is coming into your life. So what I say towards springtime, and both of these, both of these cards have a sense of love, have a sense of newness coming in, refreshing, refreshing, like air, finally being able to breathe again. This energy of look towards springtime. I swear to God, I would say by the 21st, you're going to be doing really well and meet, have met somebody that is feeling good feeling comfortable, feeling right. So if you're curious about who that is, a uh, little bit more details on them, that link is below in the who's coming towards you and I will see you over there. All right, Aquarius. Nice, happy birthday, Michelle Ann. Aquarius, let's see what energy is coming toward you this week. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. Hmm. You know, with all that's going on, this could simply be that your priority is elsewhere and not thinking of love and romance right now, or that you're not really open, not necessarily open, but your focus is on the safety of your loved ones and being at home and taking care of what you have already. So that's kind of what this focus is. You're, you're working on taking care of what you have already. And in that process, you might just meet somebody new. This is a new moon energy, so something is coming towards you, being able to receive blessings. There could be some help that you're receiving, um, some, some assistance of any sort um, that is actually bringing in new love prospects, or this is a time for you to really be able to focus on the love that you have right now simply by sort of batting up the hatches and just and just taking care of what you have right now. The sense of that's my priority. What do I have right now and what love does it need? And I'm going to give the love, give it all the love it needs. And that's what's going to return love to me. So Aquarius, this is not necessarily new love coming towards you, but a sense of taking care of what you have right now in your life. If you have somebody that you love and care for, especially if you are totally single, your mind may not even be on love and romance right now. Like in terms of, of what you're thinking of, it's almost like this energy of thinking of so much and so many bigger things that love and romance is not on the radar as of right now, like as immediately right now. You could, of course, be dealing with a Cancerian. I'm telling you right now, if you meet anybody new, it's probably going to be some healthcare official or nutritionist, like somebody that is helping you understand and learn things. Like in other words, you would have met this person not by looking to date anybody. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's like you would have met this person in, in a totally unexpected um, a circumstance or situation where you were not going in there for love. In fact, when you first saw this person, you weren't even probably thinking of love. You were thinking of helping somebody else or doing something else, to, taking care of another responsibility. Um, Essentially, this is um, um, love coming into your life. If it comes into your life, it's coming in from, think of Cancerian energy, from the side, from an angle that you couldn't have expected or predicted. 
Ooh. Rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take a break. Yeah, this is, if, if love catches you, it's going to catch you off guard. Because essentially this means that it's almost like um, you're either you're intentionally choosing to pause, take a pause button. Um, though you have a lot of cancer energy here. I don't know if you're dealing with a cancer or a Pisces, but it's like, it's like you have a lot of inclination toward just taking a break or taking a rest or letting things be what they are right now and focusing your attention on something else. It's also a sense of healing. Maybe you're in a situation or a relationship where you need to take a break and you're asking, maybe you're away from them, you're at a distance and there's sort of a pause in your relationship. Not necessarily because you don't love them, but because there's a need for it right now. There's a need to prioritize health and care and taking care of yourself over worrying about whether or not I'm going to be loved by somebody else. There is also a sense of that you and your loved one, your spouse, your significant other, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whatever your situation is, that the two of you are going to be relaxing and resting together for the next week, week and a half. So, you know, um, there is a sense of being able to spend some quality time and heal any kind of like wounds that were that had arisen between the two of you, really getting that one-on-one -on -one close personal affection time because the, to the two of you finally have the time to spend with each other. This sort of healing of yourself is helping to heal your relationship with each other spending <laughs> spending some time between just the two of you and going or you know going away you could be going on a vacation to rest and relax and really just enjoy the two of you that would be a great way to celebrate your love this coming week it's just enjoy the two of you and take a break from everybody else um if you are single aquarius this is simply saying don't think about it don't there's no need to worry. Nothing is wrong. Nothing has upset the, the, the process. The cosmos is still bringing things to you. There is just some sort of pause here right now. And it's probably a pause on your focus. And I wouldn't be surprised if any of you are kind of like, yeah, I don't need that in my life right now because I have too many other things to do. But I don't want to say that completely because I feel like it's almost like this pause is happening to you Aquarius so that you can understand what it is you really really want like that question of uh, that questioning yourself in order to figure out what it is you really want to let into your life so that you know if you have children especially you could be thinking about well I don't really want this to take off for right now maybe I'll content myself with dreams because I don't want to I don't really want to put a new person around my child right now or something like that. That sense of prioritizing what your family needs over your love life right now, taking a break to take care of them as opposed to now depending on who's coming towards you, that link is below. I do hope you join me. It could very well be that you're about to meet somebody who is very protective of their family. And you're about to meet somebody who has prioritized their family for quite some time. And that's why they're still single. Um, it also could be, or it also could be why you always think they're so unavailable. So I will see you on that link below over on the Who's Coming Towards You Christ. See you next week. Okay. 2341 Pisces. Okay, Pisces. Uh, let's see what cards come up for you. Expect powerful change. Now, this is the most definite while simultaneously abstract card that I pull. And in terms of your love life, um, it's definitely, it's, it's where are you right now? Are you single? Expect to not be for long. Expect to have a lot of suitors and a lot of options and a lot of people who are interested in being with you. Um, are you in a relationship right now? Especially if it's been on the rocks. Expect it to change. Expect that it could... Hi, Lizzie. Say hi. Do you say hi to everybody? <laughs> expect that it could... Expect that it could be the end of whatever situation that you're in. 
But you could also change the way that you look at love. You could also make a decision that you're interested in love again or you're not interested. You're closing yourself away. Why? Because you need some time to focus on you. There will be a huge shift outwardly, but also and especially inwardly about how you deal with and how you look at love and romance in general. This is a wonderful card, if especially if you've been feeling like, ah, oh, like a little bit like, oh, like it's like your skin is getting tighter on you. Like it's not, it's not really fitting. Um, like there's, yeah, there's like a confinement of sorts. And that could be for singles or couples. This could also mean that you're making a change in your life that has nothing to do with love and romance. And this change is going to unexpectedly but dramatically impact your love life. A move, a change in, in vocation, in the job that you're doing. This could impact who you are in love with and who you end up with, especially singles. It could be what opens the door to a new relationship. It could be what introduces you to this person that you never would have met if all of a sudden you didn't change what you were doing or change your location. The change in your life, this big change in your life is going to make a, a notable impact on where you are with love and with romance. Have patience. Love is patient and kind always. And this is the energy of one plus seven, which is eight. So destiny. There is something destined on the horizon here and it's about to pop off, Pisces. This is Aquarian energy. If you're curious about who's coming towards you, that link is below. I do hope to see you over there. That will give you some insight into their psyche and what they want or who they potentially are. Um, but for, for you and these messages for you, this is something that you've been waiting for for a long time is finally coming to you. That's what I want to say because you've been patient, because you, you, you've allowed things to happen and allowed things to grow. And that's essentially what was happening, especially if you felt like, there was a holdup or that never nothing ever worked out or you could have seen that there's been a change or a difference in this person that you're in love with or this person that you're in love with may change there could be a sense of changing who you're in love with and changing your love life like i said this change is about um it's the, the eclipse energy means it's like pinpointed to that specific pressure point that is really impacting your relationships um have patience love is patient have you been waiting for somebody have you been ex awaiting and wanting and hoping for them or have you been missing them because you've been living at a distance there's a change that's coming it's it's going to change they're going to move back you're going to see them again they're going to call again this is a sense of whatever was that status quo or that like flat line is going to start a heartbeat again. I hope I see you in the um, extended because it would be really interesting to see what's up on the other side of this. Okay, 2815 Aries. Aries, what is the change? I'm sorry, Aries, Pisces into Aries, Aries. You're very close to achieving your goal. I love this card. It's so beautiful. You're very close to achieving your goal. You're almost there. And the thing is, Aries, I don't think a lot of you feel like you are. I think you feel like you're the furthest from where you want to be. But the truth of the matter is, especially emotionally, you're more ready now and you're more prepared now to do what you need to do for your happiness and for the health of your love life than you ever have been. So if you're single, you're closer than you've been ever to finally meeting that person, even if you don't expect it, even if it's not anticipated. Like you, you're honestly will, will be blindsided by this person coming into your life. It will be completely unexpected, but it's just like keep looking up and keep having that hope and that faith because Aries, Something is changing and it's changing it, something it something is coming in. It's it's coming into you. It's close. And I'm sure you're probably frustrated because when we get right to that end crescent, 
that last little bit, it's always the most frustrating and it's always the hardest leg of the race because we're so exhausted from all that we've been through. But honestly, this is this is about to turn into something new. So the gibbous is about to be full and what happens to the full moon? So I'd say at least six days, wait till like six, seven days for this newness to come into your life. But there's sort of, there's some unexpected change. There's some, unex, like I, I say unexpected, you could be feeling it on the horizon. Like it, you could really like be, be like, oh yeah, no, I can, this, this is coming. This is headed my way. Yeah. Like th there's that sense really of this happening, of this, of this coming around. And I just assume that you might, many of you may have already given up and not even be looking in that direction, or many of you may intentionally not be wanting to look in that direction, but there is a sense of of uh, this is your sign this is your um kind of alert i won't say warning but alert that what you have wanted you're very close to achieving your goals is coming it's coming it's coming it's coming so there could be an engagement right there could be or you feel there's an expectation that there's an engagement coming or there's an offer to move in together there's a leveling up here what are your goals that's what i would ask you first and foremost aries is your goal to finally end this relationship is your goal to move it to the next level whatever your goals are you're very close to them coming true speak the language of love now this is a full moon energy and this is also the energy of eight Loving words have the power to change lives, including your own. So yeah, this is a, this is a leveling up, a closeness of the two of you coming together or finally becoming a, a couple or, or meeting somebody that you could go the distance with. They could be a Gemini, but we, we'll find that out in the who's coming towards you. I do hope you join me for that. That link is below. Um, but this is a sense of somebody you can really talk to, of somebody who gets you, understands you, and has the same sort of mentality in life as you. They're focused, see? Shared focus, right? That triangle right there. Shared focus. They have the same sort of mental orientation as you. And this is letting go and releasing, releasing anything that was before, any, any relationships that needed to be let go or gotten rid of or basically coming to a conclusion concluding all that was and now sort of opening up space and room for what is going to be um you're really close i think you're so close you don't really know it but thankfully this will be somebody who you can really gel with and go long term with this is a sense of some sort of tw a kindred spirit uh, I don't want to say twin flame because it's not necessarily a twin flame, but it's somebody like like that will get you, understand you, and is almost maybe soulmate, made out of the same fabric as you are. As we approach springtime, we're getting closer. It's like there's an even yin-yang coming into this relationship. And that's what I like about these full moons. If you think about full moon, they're the full yin-yang sign. So it's complete. It's not just half like a crescent. It's complete. So this is like A, coming complete circle in your life, um, in your love life, or and B, this is finding that finding that wholeness, that everything, not having to compromise this time around and settle for half of what you wanted. Or if you've been waiting for something, like I said, like you've only been getting half a commitment and somebody hasn't wanted to level up, this could be finally coming to fruition and, and, and getting that whole pie instead of just a piece. So I do hope to see you in the extended areas. Um, I'll see you over there. Here we go, Taurus. Taurus. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn. Now, Capricornian energy is very determined. It's very definite, but it's also draconian. So this end of the tough cycle could be judgment or feeling isolated from other people. It could also be um, uh, feeling like a lot of pushback or, or uh, getting rejected a lot. And this is all concluding. It's almost like you finally broke through and you're able to... Um, 
I think release the hard stuff. So if there have been barriers and or imped, like impediments to uh, your romance life, whatever it was, that could be where you were working, not having enough time, not being ready, whatever that was, this is, this is ended, it's over with. But it's not just about you. So it's not just about being ready. It's about what has been blocking. Like, has there been somebody blocking? If there's actually been a person that's been blocking, this is going to be over with. If there has been confusion or somebody else not being prepared or ready that you were interested in, that's going to be over with. Whatever was impeding your progress with on a specific direction in your relationship, what was the block in your relationship? Has there been an ongoing argument? Has there been a conflict between what you think is right, what they think is right, and your direction forward? Uh, like a conflict of ideals. All of this is about to be resolved. And I think most of it is removing the blocks that were outside and external so that the two of you can take care of what's going on internally between the two of you. If there's not a between the two of you, this is a sense of guess what? Whatever was blocking you being able to find somebody or have more of a social life to be able to get out there and really um, you know, flirt and open yourself up, there's blockages, there's impediments that are being taken away and released. And that's really, really good news. A tough cycle. Whatever this was, whatever this, 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 this un, un, unease um, and, and sadness was in your relationship, you're breaking through it now. It's it's going to be done. You know, and it could ironically be done because the two of you have to be separated for distance and you absence makes the heart grow fonder. I would say just hand this over to the universe, Taurus, because it's about to take care of it for you. Um, get to know each other. Learn to meet another's need for love. Yeah, and this is the energy of 44, which is very grounded energy, earth energy. But then there's also this sense of uh, eight, which is destiny. So, Taurus, um, I think there's been a break. There's been a breakthrough. There's just been a, a break. And, I, and I've got to say, finally. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what I want to say. Finally, finally, maybe somebody's open, opening up to you and willing to get to know you when before they weren't willing to take a chance or maybe they were distracted by somebody else. This is a sense of something happening and something breaking between the two of you so that you're interested in getting to know each other. It could have been a change in your mind too, or some sort of impediment, some sort of block that was maybe keeping the two of you from hanging out together or keeping the two of you from really knowing which direction you want to go in your life, um, keeping the two of you from... Jesus, keeping the two of you from getting together, whatever that was, it's it's removed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you you're gonna see, you're gonna see a quick a quick pickup in terms of somebody's interest in you, and I really feel like this is a good thing because the both of you, it's a matured energy, so it's a sense of maybe they had to get over a past relationship or a distraction in their life or some sort of like you know kind of frivolous thing. They need it's like they needed to grow up, but now they are. There's a there's a growing up, there's a maturation here that makes things possible. You could be dealing with a Pisces um, or some water sign, Scorpio or Cancer, because this is very water sign oriented, um, but it doesn't have to be. I will definitely confirm that, uh, hopefully, I'll confirm that in the, um, in the link below in the who's coming towards you will confirm that and get a little bit of insight into who they are. Um, so maybe you'll recognize this, especially if you're dealing Taurus with more than one person, um, you may not be like, well, who is this? Who is it coming through for? That information would be in the link below. But this is somebody who's grown up. Like it's taken them a while to get there. Let's, <laughs> let's put it that way. Um, or it's taken them a while to get over somebody that they were already with that they just couldn't let go of. Um, now, if that's not your concern, your concern is I'm finally able to spend time with the person that I love. I'm finally able to focus on my family and the people that I care about. There's been, uh, there's been conflicts. There's been something getting in your way. I keep doing that because of the Capricorn, you know, the seagull of just getting it out. Like land or sea, this creature can like 
push through something. So there is intent of working very hard to push through something, maybe to make amends or, or forgive each other or basically just get to see each other or whatever really tough time the two of you have been going through. And it might not be between your relationship. It may not, I mean, within your relationship, it may be um, tough times that you're going through uh, outside of your relationship. That weight is about to be let off your shoulders so that you can like heal and focus on each other again. So. Hopefully, I will see you guys in the extended. Taurus, I'll see you over there. Gemini. Gemini. A time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. And this is also receiving energy. So what are you giving? It's interesting on a new moon, this is an energy of which... New moons are energies of receiving and energy of giving. So this is about give and take. This is about finally sort of getting what you're giving and getting that person that is giving what you're giving in equal balance and equal exchange. Gemini, this is also Virgo energy. Virgo and you are both ruled by Mercury. Somebody that you can really talk to, being able to find the words and also find the patience to listen and receive and understand them and make them feel understood. That's a big part of this energy is making them feel understood by really understanding them and committing that time and energy of yours to be able to give it to give it to them. Um, this is about time and listening and patience. Um, it's also about uh, calling somebody up, talking, being willing to talk to them. If the two of you haven't spoken in a while, if there's been a distance between you, let's put it this way. If they're not even on your mind, don't worry about them. But if they are on your mind, this is definitely the time to pick up the phone and call because Mercury is out of retrograde. It's almost out of its... its um, shadow period it's it's completely direct and it's not even in pisces anymore it's in aquarius so communications are going to be much improved so gemini this is the time for you to make the communications for you to speak and for you to listen so do and give by receiving and accepting and understanding and opening up your heart um, and like i said if you haven't in a long time reach out and communicate now, if you are single, Gemini, this is an energy of um, getting prepared, preparing yourself to show that you're you don't want to be single anymore, that that you're ready to that you're that you're done with it, um, by letting somebody know that, know that you're interested in them, by you being the one that makes the first move. It's not that it'll just be good for them or them and you. It will be good for you. It'll be good for you to vocalize and get out there again and really get comfortable in being who you want and with who you want and where you want in your life. So this is the time. It's like you guys have been struggling a little bit, I think, and maybe there's been a lot of blockages. No more. That's been removed. Just get out there. Go. Give. Take that chance. Um take that risk. If you're in a relationship, this is almost saying they need to know that you care about them. They need to know that you love them. They need to understand it and show. This is definitely a show and a tell week for you guys. So just uh, be really, really open with that person, whether you're just interested in them or whether you've been with them for 20 years, they're going to really, this is a really good weekend to uh, show that appreciation and affection, especially. Okay. Let's one more card for you. Do something for someone. Same thing. Wow. This is both double Virgo energy. Who else got double Virgo energy? Scorpio. Mm, Scorpio got your sister card. Are you dealing with a Scorpio? That would be my question because they got both of your sister cards. Are you dealing with a Scorpio? I don't know that you are. And I don't know that it even matters, but it's it's really interesting when those two sides are connected. This is definitely double whammy of be patient, be kind, and give. Give, give, give. Because whoever you've been thinking about deserves your time and attention. And whoever you think about when I say this to you, like, seriously, this is, um, show them. Just open yourself up. Be patient. Be kind. Be understanding. Sometimes, like I like I said in, in, in the first part of the reading, you can give just by listening. 
Um, but by being compassionate, if this is the time to be compassionate, um, to forgive, maybe even forget, um, I don't think it gets that extreme. I think it's more just demonstrating. Somebody needs to know that you really care about them. You might, you might actually be losing somebody's attention because like, see, this is four plus one equals five change a change in how you behave to sort towards somebody can get you a, could, could could carry you a long way this week fyi if you're curious about who is coming towards you and what their side of things is um that link is below that's in the who's coming towards you guys so i hope to see you guys over there i'll see you next week okay cancer let's go by the look of your number, there could be lots of changes. It's time to take action, new moon in Aries. What is it that you've been holding back on? Have you been holding back? This is you and cardinal energy, but this is direct cardinal energy. Aries is extremely direct and it's extremely um, aggressive. It's, it's just, what do I want? This is what I want. So this is the kind of confidence that you usually don't have cancer. <laughs> um, you got to have it. You got to take that move. You got to take that bold move. Now, understand cancers. It may not be directly toward a person that you love or being unsingle, like finding somebody. This could be basically the message of, have you wanted to take that new job? Take it. Have you wanted to quit your old job? Quit it. Have you wanted to go somewhere and travel? Go. Buy the tickets. That's what this is because this is the energy of if you're, you're inclined and you're being pushed and the universe is saying, listen, listen, don't like obey the universe, obey those impulses, do it, go for it. This is the time because it's going to move you in the right direction. If you're single, it's going to move you in the right direction um, to finding love. Right? If you've been in a long-term relationship and it's been stagnant, make that move. Make that change. Remember, nothing changes if you don't decide to change. But this is you being the initiator. This is you basically saying, this is what I want and I'm going for it. So it could very well be you make the first move, Cancers. But more than that, it's you just allowing moves to be made. You you making the decision to do something that ushers in a change in your romantic life, including long-term relationships. The, what, it, what it is, I can tell you how to identify what the it is, Cancerians. That it is what you've been sitting on. That it is what you've been contemplating and thinking about. And I'm not sure I really, really want to. That would be it. I really, really want to, but I'm a little bit worried. I'm frightened. I'm scared. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, maybe I'm not prepared. Maybe I don't have the money. You just got to take the leap. This is go. Go and figure it out on the way. That's what this energy is. Now, ooh. This is the, the, the cup of love. This is like my Ace of Cups card in my romantic tarot. The only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus back to love. Interesting energy. And it's time to take action. Shift your focus back to love. It's time to believe that love can happen again. It's time to maybe get back on those dating sites. It's maybe time to, I know, I'm a Cancerian and I just, oh, I don't even want to think about it. So listen, if it's not really comfortable for you, you're not going to, you're not going to do it anyway. Um, but the sense of this, it's time to jump back in. The only thing that matters now is love, which means love is swimming around you. Like you're getting offered this opportunity and this cup of love. Take the chance on love. It just, it's like it wants to come into you so bad, but there's this one caveat. You have to make a change. You have to do something. Do you see those hands in that card? They're just holding this cup and offering. Um, there's a connection here. It's usually, that's usually between a parent and the child. The only thing that matters is love. Just go. 
I, there's nothing else I can say. Just go. This is real. This is truth. Trust your instincts and trust where your intuition is taking you. It's taking you in the right direction. No more hesitating. No more worrying or no more letting it get to you. Just keep moving forward. Now, who's coming towards you? That's interesting, right? Like, because these don't really give any signs. This is more about the space that we need to get into, okay? Um, that's, that's in the link below. So if you're curious about who's coming towards you, it could very well be. I'm just going to say this now. Usually when it's time to take action, it's about you take action. That's a message for the, the, the receiver of the reading. But this could very well be somebody aggressively coming toward you. Like aggressively presenting you with a cup of love. And it could be an Aries. It, it could be an Aries. We'll, we'll find that out in the who. Don't worry about it. But it could be an Aries. It's not about that. It's about this energy, this, this um, certainty of intent. That's just this cup that's offered to you cancer it's coming that's what this is telling me it's it's aggressively coming in your direction especially if you keep aggressively pushing that momentum forward in your life just your life in general who is coming towards you we'll get those answers in the extended i'll see you over there so cancers we move to leo nice leo what's up Leo, conclusions are within reach. Conclusions are within reach. That's good. Actually, the, when I first saw this card, I thought of something good. Of something like, oh, this is actually good news for Leo. Because there's been a little bit of an ambiguity going on here. And now they're going to freaking finally know. They're going to know. It's going to be determined. It's going to be definite. So this could be the two of you finally coming out and saying, yeah, we're together. Oh yeah, they love you, you love them. This is the conclusion. Not necessarily, conclusions are within reach is not a conclusion. It's that you're reaching a conclusion. You finally understand, you finally know. You can finally make the decisions that are right for you. You're finally coming to the point where you make a decision and decide, I'm going to move forward with this. I'm not going to move forward, forward with this. Whatever you've been contemplating, and I have to say, through the Mercury retrograde, that has been a great place for you to just contemplate, to not take any action, just take in that information, receive it, believe it, own it, process it, analyze it. Now you're ready to actually do something with it. And it's not just you, it's the universe too. So they're gonna be sending you answers as well. They're gonna send you definite, finally. This is gonna become very, very clear for you. If you've been thinking, oh, is this person interested in me? Mm, um, I know they're kind of interested, but do they really want a relationship? Or I don't know, am I just making up these feelings in my head? I don't think so. I think the answer is you're not, you have not just been making up this in your head, that this is actually them being interested in you and things progressing. But Leo, this is more, at least you'll know. Like you'll finally have the answers that you need. And if you're in a long-term relationship, this is like the two of you being able to sort of like make decisions, uh, make decisions based on what's best for the both of you, what's based best what's best for um, the family. Um, conclusions are within reach. This is finally being able to grasp something and understand it that you couldn't understand before or that you weren't certain about before. This could be an impending change too, like something is coming to an end. But I don't feel like this is bad. It's not necessarily bad. Um, especially, even if it is a relationship coming to an end, this would be something that you're like, you've come to peace with, you've come to terms with. It's okay. Um, honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth. Eight, nine, 10, 11. Awakening, awakening to the truth. Oh, this is finally the truth coming out. If you've been playing games, if you've been hiding, if they've been hiding, if you haven't been telling each other the truth, what I tell you, the masks are coming off. You're finally going to know. See, this card is all about not being honest with each other, like accepting the masquerade and the facade for too long. 
Leo, you're kind of done with that. You know what? You're kind of done with the BS. And if you're in a very strong relationship, this is just the two of you being able to uncover, being able to uncover issues together. And whatever has been putting stress on your relationship, the conclusions are in reach. You're about to like solve it. Maybe the the kitchen is gonna finally be put in. You know, like all this building that's been happening um, in your house, in all this construction that's been keeping you from making love. It's going to it's going to be finally finished. This is a sense of finally getting the answers that you need and getting the truths, the truths coming out. You have to have the proper information to come to the proper conclusion. And these masks are coming off something that's in disguise, something that's behind the curtain, something that's been kept. I, I think that either you're coming out and telling people that you're in love or you're you're taking off the mask and finally like showing somebody or they're finally showing you that they care about you or the two of you are finally ending this charade that you have together and you're finally showing each other who you really are so that you can make a decision okay this is who i really this is who they are do we really work together now you can finally make those choices who are you dealing with like and what what are they think like what are they going through like their emotional um atmosphere right now all that information is in the extended link below i hope to see you guys over there all right virgo let's get to this 55 49 oh no no 42 55 42 okay virgo let's see the energy is gaining momentum. Ooh, sucky, sucky. I love this card. This is one of my favorite cards in the deck too. It's moving forward. What have you been, have you been working on something? Have you been working on a relationship? Has there been some roadblocks? Um, you're getting over them. You're getting through them. It's gaining momentum. What's gaining momentum? whatever you've been putting your energy into. So if you've been trying to build this relationship, guess what? It's about to level up. It's about to go to the next step. It's about to become official. Uh, or somebody is gaining interest in you. They're getting more interested in you. You're going to start, there's going to be more flirtation coming in, more um, noticeable, I'm interested in you, energy coming to you and coming into your life. Um, ow, that's for real. Um, this could also be... Uh, what. Like I said, wherever you're placing your energy, so Virgo, it could also be what what are you and your spouse working on? You know, what's that new project that you've just opened up between the two of you? That's gaining momentum. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're hey, you're headed, you're making headway. Oh my god, this is real. This is actually happening. I thought we would never do this, but here we are. It's finally happening. Yes, you're making you're making some headway. You're you're moving forward. There's progress, there's measurable progress that is happening here and i really do think that you should be excited about this because this is good progress this is happiness this is in the direction that you wanted it to move you haven't arrived yet but there's a motion enjoy the ride please virgo enjoy the ride um be supportive make a genuine effort to show you care this is energy of four plus five so nine something coming to a conclusion something coming to a head <laughs> What is coming to a head? Well, it could be something to do with your partner. And it could be the way that you support them is what's making things move forward or vice versa. Like the way that they support you is what's helping you realize, yeah, this is the person that I want to be with. Um, this is like that angel. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. I'm not going to say you are. Um, I'll figure that out in the who's coming toward you. <laughs> Let's put it that way. If you're really curious, uh, that link is below. Join us. Join me over there. Us. Like, where is us? Join me over there. Um, but this energy, honestly, Virgo, is what do they need support on? What do they need care for? There's some sort of something is is building and it's growing and you just have to like sit back and take care of them and, and like, you know, play the beta, you know, play the co-captain, be the one who is able to and capable of providing the support or like I said, vice versa. They could be doing it to you literally like an angel that you never expected this energy of somebody taking care of you when you need it the most and handling a situation. It could, when I say take care, it could also be taking care of a situation, a circumstance, whatever it is that has been blocking you or making you guys feel like the two of you would not be moving forward, getting through it, moving on past it. If you are single Virgo, 
this is the energy of um it's like you're not going to be single for long. This is the energy of somebody caring about you or wanting to be with you because of how supportive you are, because of how good you are at something. They've noticed you and you've caught their interest and attention and affections. So it's almost like their affection building for you because of the way that you've been treating them. or And it may not be somebody that you necessarily want, but it's just definitely energy and attention. Um that shows that somebody's interested in you. The energy is gaining momentum. Yeah, this could be something like, you know, friends that are becoming lovers. Can I, like, does that make sense for you guys? Who is that in your life? Friends that are becoming lovers? Because there's a sense of something shifting and changing. And like I said, leveling up. So it could very well be that, you know, you weren't even, you may have felt a little bit, but, you weren't really even thinking about it and now it's starting to happen that the two of you are more than friends. Okay, Virgo. Like, I'm, no, I'm serious. This is, this is definitely the more than friends card. And somebody demonstrating that to you by how supportive they are and how they take care of you or vice versa. It's like leveling up. And this leveling up in how you treat somebody or how you show your affections to somebody will like make will help you make progress this week. Even in terms of if you're in a long-term relationship, caring about them, taking care of them, not asking too many questions, but just like accept what do you need and how do I help? That's going to get you a long way to resolve any conflict or to make your relationship stronger this week. Um I hope you do join me for the who's coming towards you. That reading is in the link below. It's in the description box below. So I'll see you guys over there. All right, Libra. Here we go. Libra. This is certainly your energy. Meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. This is a time for you to receive downloads. Maybe you've been questioning or trying to understand what's going on in your romance life. This is also Piscean energy, so it's very emotional and psychic. In other words, Libra, watch your dreams because there are messages coming through loud and clear in your dreams. And if you have any questions, you will dream the answers, not just dream up the answers, that the answers are going to be found in these meditative and contemplative states, perhaps actually those dream states. That's something to um, give yourself over to Libra. There's also a sense of equilibrium and balance happening in your love life that maybe hasn't been there before. So this is a sense of, um, 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 not concluding, resolving any kind of issues or, you know, sometimes it's hard to get on balance, especially as a Libra. It's hard not to just give yourself away. Excuse me. And always like, kind of have this mentality of I'm just gonna I'm, I'm just I'll make it all okay I'll make it all okay I'll fix it I'll fix it I'll fix it or I'll say it's okay no no this is that equal equilibrium returning and it may you may uh, like get aggressive dreams in terms of those things that you have held suppressed or repressed coming out and spewing out of you but Libra this is about um a, you giving yourself permission to do so. And B, maybe a resolution doesn't require that of you. You don't have to like go. It's, it's like the resolution is going to come when you're in your quiet space taking care of yourself. So it is essential that you take care of yourself this week. This is, a, this is about self-care. Mm, physical touch, a tender touch can mean so much. This is also a card of awakening, Pisces. Uh, I'm sorry, Libra. I say Pisces because this is the energy you're dealing with. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Libra, we will see. If you're curious about who is coming towards you and what is going on with them, that link is in the description box below. I do hope to see you over there. Um, but this is about like, like touch. Finally being able to touch each other. Oh, 
If you've been dreaming about somebody, if you've been dreaming about being with somebody, being with anybody, this is, it's about to get real. It's about to get physical. It's about to go beyond the contemplative. It's about to go beyond the dream. It's about, dreams are about to come true. They're about to manifest in real life. So be prepared for that. Be ready for that, Libra, because um, you know what? It doesn't even matter if you're not ready. It's coming. It's coming towards you. And it could just be as simple as like, like eye contact, you make eye contact for the first time, a simple touch on the hand opens up doors, makes somebody mean something to you or leads to a kiss that you never expected. There is a little bit, and I've been getting this for a lot of people, anticipation, like, like not anticipate, lack of, like not expecting this at all, like lack of anticipation, that type of thing. It's like, sort of maybe everything has slowed down so much or everything is so slowed down in general now this sense of kind of forgetting about things like love and romance and so this kind of happening out of the blue or um not that you don't want it or welcome it but a sense of um it happening to you yeah um there's such a balance here in this card meditate and contemplate You've been thinking a lot about somebody. You could be missing them. They could be in a place where um, you've been at a distance and now you're finally going to be able to be back in touch with them again. Um, just able to actually touch somebody. That's the big thing I want you to focus on, Libra. That you will actually be able to touch somebody this week, that it'll be physical. It won't just be hypothetical. And that will actually help to put you back in balance and help put the relationship back into balance is actually being in each other's presence and not being restricted or confined or kept away from each other anymore. And that's a little, there's a little bit of universal intervention. Five, 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 change is gonna come. So there's a change. If you're single, Libra, get prepared because you're about to meet somebody who like brings you back to brings you to life. Or you're about to be in the presence of somebody that you haven't seen in a long time. Let's get physical. The physical is on, Libra. I do want to know who's coming because I'm a Libra rising. I'm curious about who's coming towards you. I could peek, but I won't. <laughs> Hopefully, I will see you guys over there and definitely next week for more Romantic Tarot. Thank you guys so much for being here with me this week, and I will see you in the extended.